In Mozart's piano works, you meet the composer. They're pieces that he himself regularly introduced, reflecting the era's rapid evolution in musical styles and instruments, but also the astonishing scope of his genius. During Mozart's teenage years in Salzburg, the harpsichord and clavichord of his youth were increasingly being displaced by the richer and more dynamically expressive pianoforte. A turning point came at age 21 when he visited the home of the leading instrument maker, Johann Andreas Stein. Mozart marveled at the touch, tone, and durability of Stein's pianofortes. Within weeks, the composer was writing sonatas, such as numbers 7 and 9, featuring passages that dashed from high to low, loud to soft. When Mozart moved to Vienna in 1781, he called it a true clavier land, and he relied on the clavier, or piano, for his main source of income. By day, he was an in-demand teacher. At night, he played his latest concertos for the elite of Viennese society. Among the most beloved of these is the Piano Concerto No. 23 in A major, a work that he probably dashed off at top speed while working on his hit comedy, The Marriage of Figaro. Mozart let his personality shine in the piano concertos, 21 in total, but he also produced 18 sonatas, 17 sets of variations, and numerous fantasies, minuets, and rondos. These reflect the sounds heard in his travels. In London, he studied the refined galant style with J.C. Bach. In Italy, he developed his lyrical gifts. And the influence of C.P.E. Bach in Germany is heard in darker works like this D minor fantasy. Mozart was a keen improviser and once trounced Muzio Clementi in an improv duel on Christmas Eve. But where other composers opted for lighter moods, he summoned profound emotions. His piano concerto number 22 is steeped in moments of grandeur. As the Mozart scholar Alfred Einstein once wrote, his piano works possess, quote, an entirely different sphere of emotion, at once sensuous and non-sensuous, while hovering between grace and melancholy.